In this video, we are going to discuss the clinical part of the CEAP classification of uh, chronic venous disease using simple tricks so that you will never forget them again. So starting with class 0 of CEAP. So the number 0 implies nothing. So just like that, in class 0 of CEAP, we do not have any visible or palpable signs of chronic venous disease. So let us now talk about class 2. So hold up two fingers like this. Doesn't this look like the letter V? And V here stands for varicose veins. So in class 2 of CEAP, we have varicose veins. You would have studied that varicose veins have uh, some precursor lesions like uh, telangiectasias or reticular veins. So if class 2 has varicose veins and class 0 doesn't have any clinical signs of chronic venous disease, then class 1 should have the precursors of varicose veins. That is telangiectasias or reticular veins, they come under class 1 of CEAP. So moving on to class 3. So show three fingers, but in a horizontal way. So do doesn't this look like the letter E? And E stands for edema. So in class three of CEAP, we have edema. Moving on to class four of CEAP. So you would have studied that varicose veins also have a lot of skin changes, right? And how many letters does the word skin have? S, K, I, N. So four letters. So the skin changes of chronic venous disease, they come under class four of CEAP. So this class 4 can be divided into subclasses that is C4A, C4B and C4C. So under C4A, we have pigmentation or eczema. Under C4B, we have lipodermatosclerosis and uh, atrophy blanche. And under C4C, we have corona plebectasia. So let us now talk about varicose ulcers. This is something you would have seen during your clinical postings. And how many letters does the word ulcer have? U, L, C, E, R. That is five letters, right? So varicose ulcers, they come under class 5 of CEAP. But here's the thing, we are going from milder forms of the disease towards more severe as we go uh, from class 0 towards class 6, right? So in class 5 of CEAP, we will have healed ulcer, which is a good thing, which is a milder form of the disease that is healed ulcer. Whereas in class 6 of CEAP, we will have non-healing or active ulcers. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, if you found this helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.